renewal of my permit. I wanted to renew it again, and uh, I got a letter back saying, sorry, we can't. For more than 20 years, Rick Spears has renewed his concealed weapons permit through the Jackson County Sheriff's Office, but three years ago he was denied that right because of a previous drug conviction from 1970. January 20th of 1970. I was 20 years old or 21, I forget. And um, I had about enough in a little film can to roll maybe roll a joint out of. That was in California, where Spears was convicted for possession of marijuana. Oregon state law doesn't allow applicants with out-of-state convictions to secure a concealed handgun permit. However, if that same conviction happened in Oregon, a person with the same minor offense is allowed to conceal and carry. So for, I don't know, 20 years having a permit and then all of a sudden not having it. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense that uh, they would go back on something like this. Oh. But a new bill in the Oregon legislature may correct that and one day allow Spears to carry again. Yeah, I'd like to have it. Just again, it's a, to me, it's a matter of principle. It would modify the requirements for concealed handgun applicants to allow individuals with out-of-state convictions after 1973 to apply, possess, and carry a gun out of sight. One, I'd like to see it, for sure. However, his dream of once again carrying could still be in jeopardy, and because of his conviction happening before 1973, the records of his arrest are likely long gone. Personally, I'd like to see it, but two, that probably won't affect me because my record has been long destroyed, details of the arrest. There's a bill being considered that could extend the exception of marijuana convictions before 1973.